Hello everybody, Vader's Vault here presenting another Saber out of the vault. Uh, welcome back after our delay due to Hurricane Irene. We've been without power now for about a week and just got it back and couldn't wait to show off this Saber that's been sitting patiently awaiting its turn in the spotlight. This is the Narada, named so by its customer, Senzen, on the FX Sabres form. He is uh, our oldest customer in our build log and has been quite patient with us. Uh, through all the design changes and sound card changes and whatnot uh, that uh, his design required. Uh, the final design that he settled on uh, was something that we had seen come across our email screen probably about a dozen times in the last year or so. Uh, it's based on the render called the Dual Pulse Saber. Um, I'm sure many of you have seen it. I know a lot of our Sabersmith brethren have seen it. Uh, it's another one of those sabers that shows up every now and again from the talented folks at Deviant Art and other such places that uh, specialize in uh, 3D renders or sketches of uh, lightsabers. Uh, some of the biggest problems that we have is that a lot of people don't realize that a lot of those renders are just unbuildable. A lot of people who draw them don't realize that people actually want them built. So there's sort of this disconnect there between the, the two camps. Uh, every once in a while though we, we get the itch to try one and uh, see how close we can get it to the render and see if we can bring it to life. Senzen really only cared about the front half of the uh, saber matching the render or coming as close, close to the render as possible which was just fine for me because uh, I didn't really like the back half of the render it just didn't seem very balanced with the front half. So it allowed me some of my creative outlet to uh, take the back half to completion. Um, <clears throat> a couple things to note is you will notice the, the thing that sticks out the most, uh, literally and figuratively, is the uh, offset emitter shroud up here. Uh, it was one of the things that vexed me about the design was how to get that shroud on there without ugly visible screws clamping it down. Um, and it, kind of hit me the easy answer that the artist actually provided in the render. Uh, was something that I, I've used several times in my own designs and loved was a, a uh, longitudinal groove that bisects the AV switch and follows the shroud. Um, this time it actually serves a functional purpose rather than just aesthetic and that the shroud here is cut past its diameter on the, the, the tube that I cut it from to where it actually clamps into the groove and snaps in. <clears throat> so it holds itself onto the saber quite rigidly and there is two uh, large cap head screws fore and aft that actually support it from underneath so it doesn't rock. <clears throat> Very rigid uh, and gives me aesthetics that uh, I needed. And uh, these Dremel gods were with me as I hand cut these cat eye shaped slits in the emitter shroud. It came out beautifully uh, for being hand done. It uh, almost can't tell that they were. Uh, very cool, very hard to do, very complex, which is another thing that a lot of these renders make for a sabersmiths is the hand cramping complex shroud work. <clears throat> this saber is powered by none other than the Plecker Labs Crystal Focus Saber Core version 4.3. It's igniting a lead engine 10 watt RGGB with the main blade uh, using the green and blue dice mixed for a bin one color of cyan. Uh, the flash on clash or FOC is a whitish uh, tint with uh, an orange tint. So it's a very nice dramatic different color FOC. Uh, <clears throat> and of course the render also gave me the location for the bling and that the four accent LEDs are placed in the exact location that the render shows and the Saber Core driving those. I've got a red, a green, a blue, and a purple three millimeter accent LED uh, flush mount under the shroud. Uh, the shroud <clears throat> and the render, I only got one perspective so I had to kind of had a uh, form follow function type of thing here and how it the shape was symmetrical on both sides, being that the other side, the groove bisects the aux switch and the recharge port. And then I ended it in a tail here at the back that is the same general profile shape as these side tongs. 
and I just accented the tail with uh, four cap head screws. And that is bordered with a textured rubber grip pad that is contour fit to the shroud, very comfy. And a nice big weighty pommel balances the saber quite well. Let's get it powered on so you guys can see the Narada. Map Cal Shatter Point leading the way. We've got an amber AV switch where the in the place of the uh, blue lighted greebly that was in the render. Uh, the customer requested the amber switch that of course ignites the awesome crystal focus. Get the lights off here, you guys can see the cyan. Very bright, very good shade of cyan. It is definitely a bin one color. And we've got the uh, orange tinted fock. Very dramatic contrast color. Got a very nice even blade coming from the uh, trans white blade stock, illuminated bullet tip. It really helps to bring out that color. And of course the bling at the bottom, the four accent LEDs, the red, green, blue, and purple. Vader's vault style. Well, hopefully the customer likes it as much as we do. Quite proud of this saber. The Narada from Vader's vault.